Ah, good morning. Right, so this is the bit here. It's uh, it was right up under the eaves. It was in a state, not a bad state. So uh, I'll start putting this this end back up now, slowly but surely. Not the easiest thing to do, but uh, you know. Of course, we've got our mortar, which we've uh, pre-mixed earlier on today. And uh, one of the things I've noticed on here is that the, uh, well, the only wall tile that's up here is completely rotted away. Um, there's only a little nib. I don't think the camera will pick that up. It might do. But there's only a little nib there left. And the rest is gone. Rotted away. So what I've got is one of them. I'm going to plug and screw into the, the wall there. Just to tie it all together. It's stainless steel, is that? So, you know, it's going to, um, going to last. <coughs> uh, I think that was successful. <laughs> I'm trying to. Yeah, not a lot can do with that. Mm. Again, what we're doing, we're reversing the the bricks where we can uh, to try and keep the nice nicer face some of them are a bit buggered to be honest hence we're using some of the 75s in it i mean yeah, if you look at that one it's starting just starting to go pitted turn it over still a good break there i know there's a bit of a, a little bit of a, a crack in it there but that's i mean that's been there since it uh since the brick was born I've also found with this section of brickwork is that this elevation here is slightly higher than it is around the front. Not by a lot, but enough, you know. Um, and again, I think it's just over time it's just moved or dropped or something. Um, which again I think has caused some of the, the issues. Do you think what's happened is some of the joints have opened up quite wide because it has dropped a bit. Um, they've had water ingression, so they've had, they've had Billy and his, his brother, the builders in. And um, you basically bodged it up with a bit of silicon, you know, because that's what you do when you get water into brickwork, isn't it? You can only do so much. I mean, that was its hand to get this done, get it all plumbed up again. Just drop this, drop it right down that end, probably take the roof off, and reset all the brickwork to get it all nice and level right around again. Is that going to happen? No. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to juggle bricks around and make it as, as neat and as tidy as we can. Uh, with what we've got, but I think we'll be all right now because I've, I've managed to get the um, the awkward bit back up, which was kind of like round there. So now we're on a straight run. Technically, the corner's up now. Well, there we go. Things we do. Very awkward. It seems to be running back towards the main house, which suggests that something has dropped at some stage, and it's running back. It's running back on the original brickwork. So I'm going to try and try and follow. It's quite awkward. Um, I can actually see it in the joints here as well. So it might have been one of those. Uh, 
Victorian bricklaying jobs that uh, didn't quite go to plan. You never know. You never know. Yes. Uh, you know, there's something I can't I can't put my finger on it, but there's something amiss with this uh, this brickwork because I've I've done the front section of it. And that's that's knitted up nice to the brickwork that's already there. Um, but it's kind of like in the middle of this this panel here it seems to be uh, seems to be rising. So it could be that the brickworks over time it's, it's got pushed up with a with a metal jacking or something like that. I don't know. It's hard to say because when I when I took it down, you couldn't really see anything because it was in such a mess. A proper mess. Um, 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 yes. Can I have that brick in there like that? Will it go in there? Yeah, that'll go in there. I'm not quite sure how they'd finish that when they did it because, uh, yeah, you can't really put a piece of brick in there. Just, uh, just have a look there. You can see that there. That's the end of the wall plate. So I think they must have just put like a little thin piece of brick over the face of it. I don't know. Hmm. I'd say it was all silicon and bits of God knows what chucked up there. Bits of home, everything. Polyfiller, paint. So I don't know how it was originally, but going off what I've seen them do in the past with stuff like that is they probably put a little little thin piece of cotton and put in there and pointed it in. It'll bubble on it, right? Well, we're we're plumb anyway. Level there, I can't really see that. I turn it round. There we go. Yeah, it is. It's running. Running down on this this corner here, but I can't alter it because the brickwork that's sat on it is tied to it now, where it meets the roof. So it's obviously dropped because if it hadn't dropped and I got my brickwork out level, there'd have been a big gap where it meets the the roof, but there isn't. Where the brick disappears up under the the soffits, it's tight on that. So I think all that's dropped down at some stage. Um, and I can't get it back up because the roof's off. So I'll have to improvise. Either that, I'll take the roof off the house. No. Okay, right. Let's crack on. Push plenty of gear into that joint to actually stick it all together now. Oh, there we go. Quite a bit of juggling involved there to try and straighten things up because it's, uh, it's running out of plumb, it's running out of square, and it's running out of level. Um, so I've juggled it a bit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attack it with the old, uh, the old dangle grinder and just widen up some of the, the smaller joints where I've had to, to kind of step it to try and level it all up again. Um, and then widen up the... Uh, the other joints ready for repointing. I'll have to remove this uh, bad bit of downspout as well. I mean, it's even got a crack bracket on it, it's brand new. Right. So I think that's it for part one, isn't it? We'll, uh, we'll cut there. The jet just went over. And their private things heading to uh, 
บอสผัวผัวผัวด้วย Chief Executive of somewhere or something like that. Anyway, right. So we're going to leave you there for uh, 10 minutes or so. I'll get this lot cut out and uh, and perhaps I'm ready because uh, you don't want to see me cutting out again. We'll see you in a bit. Right. Let's have a look what we've done then. So this week we've cut out and repointed. Dropped off of that bit there, rebuilt and pointed. Dropped that bit of pillar there, and repointed, and cut out all that stretch there, repointed it. And then round here, we've done, whoops, all that up there, and we've got all that there. And that bit there. That's not bad. We started, uh, I'm going to take the brickwork down Monday. I took down the brickwork. So uh, that's not bad at all. Second three and a half days. Right, down to the next level. Next lift. I'm going to look at this. Now I'm thinking if I cut round it, bring it forward break some off it, and then plane it up. What do you think? The other option is, is to cut a big chunk out of it, plane this up, and face it up with that. Either way, it's still going to be hard work. So I think I'll attempt to, uh, to bring it forward, which might be the easier option. In all honesty, might even be able to reverse it, take it out, reverse it. You never know. Right, I'll get set up doing that and come back to you. Right, boy in there. Let's take a flock. That's it right through. Now that's what I wanted to do last week. I did the uh, the other one, but I got my machine wet. <laughs> so that brick's dropped, so I'll have it out, which will make life easier.
Ini si Sir Dendong. Always. No things moving. <clears throat> Very tight. I mean, you can see just how tight the beds were before somebody uh, made them a lot wider. Very tight. Hardly any mortar in them at all. Right, there we go. Oh, up down there, out of the way. That boy wants to come out as well, so... No, it's going to stay there for now. Oh, that's snow again. And rubble. Right. As you can see, she's loose. Now this is going to be heavy. So if my voice goes all squeaky, you know, I've got a, a bit of a problem. So the back side of it isn't too bad. So I think what we can do is uh, it's plain off the back side of it, reverse it, put it back in. Yeah, excellent. <coughs> Clean this one off. Right, well that's uh, that's cut up lovely. Didn't take long. Didn't film it because I did that last week, but uh, yeah, it's come up very nice. So uh, I've just saturated everything. Just let that water pull in now, and we'll uh, we'll get it back in. Right. Keep forgetting about the brew. Oh, that's good. Where's the uh, bucket of Moritor? Moritor. Right. 
right, so that way. Are you ready? Oh, I've got a little tash. Look at that. Dust. Heavy beast. Heavy beast. When you go, that's it. We just need to tweak it now. Get it in position. Right, so a little bit of sleep before. There it is. Okay, so. Hmm, yes. Not too bad. Just want just tweak it a little bit there. Yeah, let's twist it around now. There. We're about there with that. Now, bear in mind, we've got a big, big gap. On the joint there because we reversed it but don't forget also that John's going to paint these I'm just getting rid of the rock for him that's all Only packed in that top now. I mean, I could have just filled the rot out with sand and cement or something, but that would be wrong of me. <laughs> I 
off in a trowel. Very important to get it all packed in there. It stops it moving around, it keeps it stable. Right, that's good and compacted now, that. I mean, there's really only one way that you can get something like this, so it's perfect, and that's to replace it with a, a new piece. But, um, like I say, it's, it's just basically get rid of the worst of the, uh, the rock for him so we can paint them. Well, 
we're going to get back on the uh, the old troll boat cottage troll boat in project in a couple of weeks there's um a lintel which we're gonna to have to take out and pretty much do the same we've got to recut it all um, and that's that's going to be a challenge that because it's a big beast it's going to be quite heavy but i've got a i've got a cunning plan of how i'm going to do it which involves planks and scaffold tubes and things That's pointing at the bottom. I'm just tilting it forward ever so slightly. A bit of a bit of a slope on it. So any water that runs down that stone isn't gathering at the foot of the stone. It's going to come off because these 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 are on an angle, so it can come off like that. And it doesn't hold water up against itself. Right. So she's pretty much uh, pretty much in there now. I'm going to fill out this uh, this edge. I say it's a bit short there, but once once she's painted it, you're never going to know. To be honest. <sighs> Of course, by doing it this way, where you're not facing the stone with the mortar, you know they're not going to be on the phone in six months' time or six years' time. It's still going to be good. Hmm. With a brick I took out, surely. Surely. <sighs> no. Right, okay, somebody's on my brick away. There it is. <sighs> Covered in stone dust, it looked like a piece of stone. Right, so we're not going to put any mortar on the top of it at this stage because it's very tight. So the white bits, the little white speckles, that's uh, that's the line when they were slaking it. It hadn't quite slaked. It's one slaked line.
nice 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 i'm gonna shove some in the bottom there so it doesn't move when i put the next brick on Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to use this extremely thin trowel to shove some into there. And I'm going to put some in the frog, which is the dip inside the brick, and push it that way, which will pick all this up. And then we'll put the last piece in. I was a bit concerned that if I bedded it up before I got it in there, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't go in. It's tight. that bit nice big blob in there now push it in with my fingers nice and tight it was right into that frog and picked that brick up Right, that should be full now, that frog on there. Lovely. Again, we'll use the uh, the very fine trowel to stuff some in there. Right. 
out. Out. I can't. He's picking up that. So, put a little bit of the older uh, slate in it. Push some mortar in. And then swap. Uh, swap sides. See if it's held. Ooh, probably not. There's some other side of it. Trap it in there. That's got it, that's held it there. Very nice too. Right, I'll just nip that top with the grinder because uh, there's a piece of rock hard cement mortar on it, which I don't knock off because I'll knock the brick loose. Dusty, dusty. Right, so all I've got to do now is point that up in a minute or two when it's uh, when it's dried a bit. But uh, I think that's pretty much it for this week. Um, I'll give you a quick, uh, quick look at it before we go when it's pointed up. But uh, like I say, that's probably it for this week. Because uh, the rest of the week I'm going to be cutting out um, the pointing, which is boring. You don't want to see me doing that. Well, you might. I don't know. But anyway, and there you go. All back together again. Looks a bit, uh, a bit better than it did. And yeah, I know it's not absolutely perfect, but. Uh, you know, like I said, they're going to paint it. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy enough with it. It's better than the rot that was there. Right, that's it. That brings us to the end of this week's little uh, tete -a As usual, hope you've, uh, you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it informative. And uh, if you have, obviously, give us that, uh, that thumbs up, the very important thumbs up. And welcome to all the new subscribers this week. If you haven't subscribed yet and you feel like subscribing, please carry on and subscribe. It's, uh, trying to get these numbers up. I'd like to see a thousand, really. That'd be a nice number. Anyway, there we go. So I'll leave you there, and we shall see you next week for another episode of Buggering About With An Old Building.
See you next week. Thanks for watching.